Uh huh. No, I understand. I do. No, I totally get it. Uh huh. No, I get it. I do. Uh huh. Oh well, actually, he's coming in right now. I will relay your message and get back to you. All right, I'll call you back. All righty, bye. Dustin, buddy, good to see you. How was your flight? It was okay. You know I don't love coming back here. <laughs> well, it is good to see you. How's your hotel? Settling in okay? Still, you booked me in a and b Why are you acting weird? Weird? <laughs> I'm not being weird. You're being weird. Oh, you're using your agent voice, and it's unsettling. <laughs> well, I am your agent, so... I... What's going on, Stu? <sighs> well, that was the label, honey. Based on the numbers of your last album, they're not exactly inspired to move forward with a new one. Well, why not? Well, Brian from A&R says that in the last 40 years, he hasn't seen such a drop between albums before. And I said, Brian, come on. Dustin has a shelf full of awards. He sleeps with the songwriting gods. You gotta give him another chance. Wait, who's Brian? Uh, I don't know. But the point is this. This might just be the end of the road for us, buddy. That's ridiculous. You know, who needs him? We'll, we'll just find ourselves another label. Dustin, who's gonna take you? Your last album was a flop, and you haven't written anything new in a year. I've been searching for a creative spark. And as your friend, I support you in your journey. But as your agent, I need something tangible to win the label back with. Okay, I'll write something new. Something good. Oh, well, never mind then. Of course it's gonna be good. Great. You remember the American Country Music Showcase, the ACMS? It's a week away. Yeah, I haven't done one since. Exactly. It'll be a great opportunity for you to reintroduce yourself to the industry. Everybody's gonna be there. If you could come up with a hit to perform that night, we could save this record deal. I only have a week. This might just be the kick in the pants you need to turn things around. Listen, when I first signed you, I believed in you. And I still do. Guess I better go find some inspiration then. The usual. Don't you know your own sister's coffee order? Uh, I am busy running a business here. You can make it yourself. Do you make all of your customers make their own coffee? Yeah, especially the ones who don't pay. You, uh, you want to grab lunch? I can't. Mia's producing her first single, and I have to pick up slack at the studio. Hold on, hold on. Mia's producing now? Mm -hmm. The new Carrie Underwood single. Oh, I thought you were supposed to do that one. Yeah, I did too. Apparently, I'm too inexperienced. Is that code for not the boss's niece? Chloe, you've been busting your butt for the last three years. You've earned your chance to produce. Okay, can we just stop talking about it, please? You didn't break up with Aaron. I moved back from Tallahassee so you could be Sloane's assistant. Receptionist. Anyway, can we just please move on? Let's talk Dad's birthday, okay? Rumor has it there's a limited edition re-release of John Prine's Bruised Orange circulating. I was thinking we could get him that. I think you'd love that. Yeah. Okay, well, I just stocked new rivals. Why don't you see if you can find it in stock? Yeah. Oh my god, poor Shoe Lake. Do you remember Dustin and Anya? Oh yeah. He was so cute. They recorded this in Sloan's studio. Really? Mm-hmm. Great album. I like his second one though. Yikes. Guess he couldn't cut it without her. <clears throat> Honestly, my fifth grade poetry uh, is better than the lyrics on that album. You no, know, personally, I think I was writing a more sixth grade level, but then again, who am I to say? Uh, I'm just you're... Dustin Miller. Pleasure. I'm sorry. I did... I was just... <laughs> no, no sweat. There's a few critics out there I reckon would agree with you. But hey, at least I'm cute, right? Is that the John Prine re-release? Yeah, sure is. Okay, I, I know I just completely insulted you, but, um... Can I have that? Excuse me? It's... My dad's birthday coming up, he's a huge prine head, and this would be like 
a golden ticket, honestly. <sighs> no. What? Apologies to your father, but no. Thanks. However, I'd love to take a look at your fifth grade poetry sometime. Ladies. Have a good day. Nice place. Looks like you're settling in. Yeah, just chilling. However, you, my friend, look anything but chill. Well, do you want good news or the bad news? How about just the good news? <laughs> Always a comedian. Got you a slot at the showcase. Well, that's great. When is it? 11 a.m. on Sunday. 11 a.m.? Mm -hmm. Show starts that early? Yours does. Stu, that is a terrible time slot. Well, that's the good news. Buckle up, my friend, because the label needs a recording of the single, and if it all goes according to plan, they want to release it right away. You do have a song in the works, right? Yeah, yeah, no, of course, yeah. When do we record? As soon as I can find a studio that'll take you. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, you'd be surprised. What do you mean? I've been scouring around for an available slot, and no one could take you. Can't or won't? Well, there is one place I could call but you're not gonna like it. No. Dustin? Stu? You know I wouldn't even suggest it if it wasn't our last resort. I can't go back there. Fine. I'll call the label and let them know to call the whole thing off. Fine. Cold studio. <laughs> I'll set something up for tomorrow. Listen, don't be late. Hello? Anyone here? Oh, excuse me. Can I help you? Yeah, sorry. I, I came by front desk, but nobody was out there. Um, I'm looking for Sloan Simmons. He and I go way back. Oh, uh, unfortunately, Sloan's out of town. <sighs> I can set up a meeting with him when he gets back. Uh, it's time sensitive. When's he coming back? Early next week. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, unless you know of a studio and a producer who could spit out a hit single in a week. Uh... I'm available. You're a producer? Yeah, I'm, I'm Sloan's apprentice. And you're available? Let me just check my schedule. Yep, I think I can fit you in. <laughs> Seriously? You're a lifesaver. Oh, we are quite booked up, though, so we'll have to squeeze you in during off hours, early mornings, late nights. You know the drill. We'll take it. But I gotta tell you, we are under a time constraint. We need this single mixed and ready to go in time for the Country Music Showcase in one week. Totally doable. <laughs> My gosh. Uh, by the way, what's your name? Uh, Chloe Brandon. Stu Gilligan. 
Nice to meet you. Truly, it's going to be an honor working with you. Likewise. So, who's the lucky artist? Oh, uh, <laughs> here's my guy now. Chloe Brandon, let me introduce Dustin Miller. Well, if it isn't my biggest fan. <sighs> Wait a minute. You both know each other? Uh, we met once. <laughs> well, we share similar tastes in music. <laughs> well, what a coincidence. If that isn't kismet, I don't know what is. <laughs> Go, okay, Chloe, tell me about yourself. What have you produced before? Oh, uh, Roots, Alt Country, uh, Yalt Country. Oh, all right. Why don't I show you into the control room? Sure. This is your new home. I was mentioning to Stu, we're gonna have to work off hours. Busy season. Okay, uh, what are off hours? Chloe, there you are. I need help in Studio A. Uh, uh, just give me one moment. Wait, was that? No. Seriously, because it looks just like I know. uncanny, right? But no, he's a new technician, actually. What's up? What can I do for you? Miranda's coming in a half an hour, and she's insisting on bringing a double bass. We need to recalibrate the entire setup. Oh, no problem. I'll get right on it. Thank you so much, Chloe. You're the best. Are you okay? Well, it's just with Sloan being gone and having taken on so many new clients, I feel a little like I've been thrown in the deep end. Hey, why don't you let me open and close the studio while Sloan's gone? That way, I'll take care of the nitty gritty and you can focus on the work. Really? You would do that? Yeah, of course. We're a team. You're the best. This place would honestly fall apart without you. Sorry about that. Base emergency. Where's Stu? Uh, yeah, at the jet. Oh, well, that sounded great. Don't let me interrupt your flow. Yeah, that was nothing really. Okay. Well, is there anything you are working on? Hey, see, the uh, problem is I don't really have anything. Nothing? Not yet, but I work quick. Okay. Because Stu mentioned we only have a week. Yes, I'm aware. No, actually, I think I might take a walk, get some inspiration. Wait, wait, wait. Shouldn't we be brainstorming, bouncing ideas back and forth? Absolutely. Tomorrow. Turn that back up. Hear that? Listen to that control. Guy's gotta have two sets of lungs. Very impressive. You can't keep listening to music this loud, Dad. Your hearing's bad as it is. What was that? <laughs> it's good to see you, sweetie. New truck? Oh, gotta stay busy. Keeps me young. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I did something kind of crazy. Ooh, I'll get the emergency bail fund. Not that crazy. I think I'm actually producing my first single. Honey, that's amazing. For Dustin Miller. Dustin Miller? That's a big deal. <laughs> this is cause for celebration. Uh, not so fast, because I'm doing it behind Sloan's back. He has no idea. And Dustin's team thinks that I'm Sloan's protege. So basically, I've lied to everyone and I'm probably gonna get fired. Well, not if it's a hit. We only have one week, and Dustin hasn't even started writing. I feel like I might be in over my head. Are you kidding me? This is your chance to show Sloan the talent that's been right in front of him the whole time. This is your dream. It'd be a shame to see it pass you by. I just think, what if I'm not good enough, or I can't do it? Sometimes we gotta make tough decisions. Yeah, I did. You did. Well, there and... We owe it to ourselves to see it through. You got this. Thanks, Dad. Hey, hey, 
Just take a breath, you'll be there. You don't understand. I have one week to turn around a hit single, and we only have so many hours in the day when Mia's not in the studio. This was a huge mistake. Things we're doing are never easy. Have a little faith. Wow. Okay, I, I have to go. Good luck. Hey, sorry I'm late. No worries. Should we get started? Uh, on second thought, let's go on a field trip. Okay, are, are you sure this is the best use of our time? It absolutely is, which is why we have to hurry. So, let's go. Exactly, are we doing here? You said you needed inspiration. This is your inspiration. Look around. Take it all in. What do you feel? Kind of hungry, honestly. Seriously? The world is a symphony. You do know there's no music playing, right? Close your eyes. I promise there's a point to all this. Do you hear that person chopping wood? There's your tempo. Birds, that's the string section. Frogs, vocals. The world really is an orchestra if you just stop and listen. Are those lyrics per chance? No, it's a grocery list. I wasn't kidding about being hungry. Pretty sure I picked up the sound of a funnel cake system somewhere over that way. I will give this town one thing. They make the best funnel cake in the country. Hey, we have a lot more to offer than funnel cake. Okay? We're the birthplace of bluegrass. We have small town charm with big city opportunity. Plus, we're home to the largest sassafras tree in the world. Hey, what's your beef? It's got a, a lot of memories here. You know, we actually recorded our first album at Sloan's. I know. It was a great album. Better than my second, anyway. I'm sorry, that was so harsh. Hey, you're entitled to your opinion. Besides, you were right. I was trying to be someone I wasn't. So let's find the real you. I'm serious. It was a great album. Yeah. Not sure I'm the reason it was great. You said it yourself. I'm nothing without her. Dustin, I Hey, you know, I think I've had enough inspiration for today. What? I'm gonna go. We haven't even started yet. I'm sorry, but I, I thought I could do this. I'm just not up for it. And then he just walked away. It was doomed from the start. Hey, just because he's a quitter doesn't mean you have to be. What am I supposed to do? Hold him hostage? Yeah, if you have to. Hannah, be serious. I am. Look, you finally took your career into your own hands, and now you're gonna let it just slip away? You are a producer now. Go produce. You're right, I know. Where do you think you're going? Um, hi. You can't just walk away like this. Look, I apologize for wasting your time, all right? But I just, I can't. This isn't about you. I have a lot on the line, too. What is the big deal? I leave and you move on to some other artist. And you're clearly squeezing me in anyway. Yeah, because I believe in you. Why? Because I think your first album was raw, honest, passionate, and I think you can do it again. What if I can't? You can't just walk away the second things get hard. Fine. Okay, but you have to actually want no, to do this. I do want this. I've been running away for too long. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go, come on. So I'm assuming you have some chord progressions that you like. Yeah, uh, sure. Um... 
It's just, I've, I've tried everything. Now, I've listened to everything, traveled the world, visited famous songwriters for advice, because I've... You have writer's block. <sighs> Nothing works. Hey, it happens to everyone, even the greats. Why don't we start by uh, you telling me what your writing process is normally like? Well, with... In the past, a lyric or verse would just pop into my mind, and then we'd build a melody around that. And what inspires you? I don't know. Come on, I know you wrote something down the other day in the country. No, it wasn't any good. Okay, why don't we just forget about writing for a minute and try a new approach? I don't think you can close my eyes again, are you? No, we're just gonna talk, okay? Okay. Okay. What's your favorite food? <laughs> uh, grilled cheese. Really? Yeah, <laughs> but not just any grilled cheese. My mom's. I don't know exactly what she does to it, but I guess it tastes like home. And what is your favorite thing about being home? Other than your mom's grilled cheese, obviously. I don't know, it's, it's great. There's a clear night sky. I can hear myself think. And why did you leave? Music, love, Anya. Okay, what does Anya make you feel? Hurt. Frustrated. Angry. Okay, what does that sound like? Sounds like... Sounds like... Like... Good, use that. Use it. Happy, major chord. There's a chord progression. Let's turn it into a verse. Okay, go to the flat three and let's see how that sounds. from the one to the four to the five and then back to the one back to the one okay does that sound more like you yeah it does good Tomorrow's pretty packed again, so let's meet here first thing in the morning. Uh, Chloe, it is the morning. Right. Okay. Um, let's meet here later and maybe get started on some lyrics. Right. Lyrics. I just feel like lyrics are where the real block is. Okay. How about go home, get some rest, and write down the first thing that comes to mind when you wake up. Sometimes once you get the ball rolling, it's easier. Okay, we'll give it a shot. Seems there might actually be a method to your madness. Thanks. So, um, can you lift home? Oh, no, I'm gonna probably just stay here and get some stuff done, but thanks. Sure? Mm hmm. I'll see you later then. Okay.
Dustin, what are you doing here? Silch, Zippo, nothing. I'm dry. I'm all out of talent. Hey, don't you think we're being a tad dramatic? Chloe, I'm serious. I have been scribbling all morning, and the best I could come up with was a limerick about wool socks. Who doesn't like wool socks? <laughs> Chloe, help. I need you. I'm not the only one. Listen, we gotta get out of here. Um, there's no inspiration here. Let's go outside. Chloe? So wait, your sister owns this place? Mm -hmm. This place combines my family's two passions, coffee and music. My dad was a country singer, and he toured all of North America with my mom in the 80s. And my sister, Hannah, has an encyclopedic knowledge of every record ever made. Not to mention the voice of an angel. Mm, so you brought me here to... Brag about my sister, yeah. But also, what a better place to find inspiration than a record store. Like, what's the first record you ever listened to, start to finish? Oh, I do not want to tell you that. Come on. My kind of country, Reba McIntyre. Wow, seriously? <laughs> yeah, my mom was a diehard. Gotta admit, don't you believe him hit pretty hard. I'm Hannah, we met briefly when my sister was- Savagely ripping apart my solo album. That's right. Uh, if you're looking for inspiration, I think I have just the thing. Ha ha. Oh, Dolly. You know, I saw her in Eureka once. No one has more fun on stage than the queen of country. Wait, that's it. What's it? Hannah. You're a genius. Dustin, I'll see you tonight at 7. Wait, where are you going? I'm gonna set something up for tonight. She said I'm a genius. Are you gonna tell me where we're going? We're almost there. Can I get a hint? Okay, you know what you said about Dolly Parton and how much fun she has on stage? Yeah. Well, I thought, what could be more fun than a night of karaoke? to write the song, you need to get back into the joy of music, of performing live. Okay. And back to your country roots, because I think this would... Wait, did you say okay? I love karaoke. I know I can come across a little reserved, but I can let loose. You know, I'm actually a pretty fun guy. Chloe. There she is. Excuse me, miss, is the seat taken? You made it. And you even convinced Dustin to make an appearance. Yeah, he says he's actually a... Fun guy. I am. You'll see. Uh -huh, I'm sure I will. <laughs> so, Anna, what are you singing tonight? Oh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't sing in front of people. What? Chloe tells me you have the voice of an angel. You're seriously going to deprive all these honest, hard-working people of your gift. Mm -hmm. She has terrible stage fright. It's paralyzing. Look, I'm just here to support. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming out to tonight. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's get this show started. First up, we've got a Miss Hannah Brandon. Hannah Brandon, please join me up here on stage. You didn't. I may have called in in advance and put your name down. I don't know, I'm gonna kill you. Hannah Brandon, do we have a Hannah Brandon in the house? Hannah, just go on. We don't have all night. <sighs> Woo! Yay, Hannah, she's right here! Woo! Yay! Come on, Hannah! There she is, folks. You would seriously do something like that to your own sister? Oh, trust me, it'll all be worth it. <laughs> Woo! You got it, Hannah.
trash bin. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, maybe let's not spin. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. She's incredible. She should be the one with the record deal. See, I told you, sometimes it's good to get out of your comfort zone. Maybe may be onto something there. <laughs> that girl, she's coming. Thank you. You were incredible. Oh my God. Well, for real, Hannah, I'm speechless. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> that was something else, that wasn't it? Another round of applause for Hannah Brandon, everyone. Now, as some of you may have noticed, we have a celebrity guest with us tonight. An adoring fan of his has made a special request. Please give a warm welcome to Dustin Miller. <laughs> and this song is actually a duet. So Dustin, if you wouldn't mind selecting a lucky member of the audience to join you on stage. All right. No, it hurts, doesn't it? Come on, go on. Come on, Chloe, for your own good. Yay! I can't believe you're making me do this. Hey, you're the one who brought me here, remember? Yeah, I wanted to sit next to an international superstar. It's karaoke. No one expects it to be good anyway. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> Dustin, I thought this would be fun for you. I don't know what to say. It's, it's this place. It's Anya. I feel like you can't escape her. But you can. We can work on this together. Chloe, I don't want to do this right now. I appreciate all your help, but I just kind of walk this off. I'll see you tomorrow. Apologize for yesterday. I shouldn't have just bailed like that. I don't know what came over me. I do. So, why are we here? Because something's been blocking you, and I think I know what it is. Oh, really? Yeah, you've been running from every memory, every glimmer of Anya since you got here, and it's getting us nowhere. The time you face this head on. How do I do that? You're gonna write her a letter. I can't send her a letter. We haven't spoken in... No, this isn't about her. It's about you. You don't even have to show me. Just write it all down, let it all out, and be honest.
frustrating, scary, and good. Really good. That means you did it right. So, what now? Burn it. What is this, some sort of spell? It's called closure. Not gonna do all of it? No, I, uh, I think we'll keep this one. Hey, thanks for not giving up on me. Some things are worth fighting for. Mia, hi. Hey, where are you? Um, just running some errands. I think it's best that you come back to the studio. Stu's here. Stu? Yeah. Stu? As in Dustin Miller's rep? We need to talk. Stu. Hi. What a surprise. <laughs> Well, today's just full of surprises, isn't it? Namely, the one where I found out that you're not a producer at all. And that you've been producing Dustin Miller's new single, Behind Everyone's Back. Wait, hold on. Is this a joke? If it is, it's not very funny. If the record label finds out that an amateur is producing this song, they could just walk away. Come on, Dustin, we're leaving. Dustin, I'm sorry. <sighs> We need to talk. Well, Dustin, I'm sorry. I'm at a loss. <laughs> you can't say we didn't try. So what? We're just giving up? Dustin, buddy, it's four days until the showcase. I don't see how we're going to pull this thing off. We don't have a studio, we don't have a song, and we don't have a producer. Yeah, we do. Chloe. Man, did you see what just happened? Chloe is not a producer. Yes, she is. Look, I realized what she did was wrong, and I'm not exactly thrilled about it. She's the best producer I've ever worked with. And I actually think we have a hit on our hands. So let me get this straight. You've been recording in secret this entire time? Mia, yeah, I'm so sorry. Listen, I know this is risky, but is there any possibility of you not telling Sloan? Chloe, I have to. He put me in charge while he was gone. If this came out, we would both get fired. What were you thinking? Yeah, I know, but we were gonna do this all in secret while he was gone anyway. He wouldn't have known. That's besides the point. I would have never gotten this opportunity if I didn't take it for myself. What are you talking about? Mia, I've been working here for three years. He's never so much as listened to my demo. He's never given me a shot as a producer and I had to take it on my own. You're putting me in a really awkward position here. I know, I'm sorry. You promise that this would stay a secret? Promise. Okay. Okay, you're not gonna tell Sloan? As long as you can promise that this will stay between us. Yeah, of course. I'm not gonna lose my job over it. I don't even think you have to worry anyway because Dustin's probably never coming back here. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Seems like he needs you as much as you need him. It'll be fine. No, it'll be great. Stu, this could be my best work, yet I can feel it. I've already laid down a killer bed track, started with the lyrics. We still have four days. We can totally do this. Dustin, I'm so happy. I'm happy that you're on a roll. But this just might be the end of the road for me. What are you talking about? The label will never sign off on continuing to fund a single produced by a complete unknown and behind the back of one of the best producers in town, no less. Listen, as your friend, I'm 100% in. I got your back. But as your manager... I understand. But I hope you realize I need to do this. <sighs> Dustin, she's probably already fired, man. Where are you going to even record? We'll figure it out. 
I believe in her. Take care, Stu. Oh. Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm really look, sorry. I'm, no, sorry. No, <laughs> you sorry. go first. Yeah, Yo, you go. I want to do this. Just to clarify, this meaning for... With you, <laughs> yes. <laughs> You've actually managed to get me writing again. I can't walk away from that. Dustin, I'm so sorry I lied to you. It's just I knew Sloan wouldn't give me a chance, and when I saw an opportunity... You did I... what you had to do. Yeah. Well, for what it's worth, I'm glad you did. So are you fired, or...? No. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> well, then what are we waiting for? Let's get back in there. Uh Small snag. Uh, the studio's being taken over by a band right now, and it's my dad's birthday, so... No, of course. Family first. You should come. To your dad's birthday? Is that weird? No. Is it? No. I, I actually think you'd love my dad. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're sure, then? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. So what's the secret? You do, like, a barbecue roast? I told you my secret, though. You don't need me anymore. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad. Ah, oh, thanks for coming, sweetie. And who might this handsome fella be? This is Dustin. Dustin Miller. Yeah, I knew I recognized you. Chuck Brandon. It's good to meet you, sir, and I uh, hope you don't mind me crashing your party. What, are you kidding me? Music legend at my party? I'm honored. Plus, Dad always makes way too much food. Way too much. Yeah, I never had a choice. You know, they say feeding teenage boys is like feeding an army. They never met my girls. And I can put away more brisket than any man I ever met. Okay. One time, Chloe ate so much cornbread at Thanksgiving. Dad, I thought she was... Dad, he gets it. Okay, I got you. I'm being embarrassing. Justin, I didn't know you'd be joining us. Yeah, I thought he could learn a thing or two from the old man. Wow, <laughs> who are you calling old? Uh, that's right, I hear you're somewhat of a legend yourself. Well, I wouldn't use the word legend, but I do hold the family record at Guitar Hero, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's being weirdly modest, which is unusual for him. Don't worry, he'll regale you with tales from the road with my mom the second he gets a chance. Hey, it's my party. I'll regale if I want to. But first, sustenance. Come on, mm. let's dig in. So then the van breaks down again, just outside of Tucson. And what does their mother do? She leaves us to fix the darn thing while she hitchhikes to the next gig and performs on her own. <laughs> but she always said, I love the road. But not, not enough, enough to sleep, sleep on the side, side of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your wife sounds like she was quite the firecracker. Oh, you have no idea. Some days I thank my lucky stars the girls took after her. Some days not so much. <laughs> So why'd you stop touring? Well, after Fiona passed, I decided I'd rather spend my time with these two. So I buckled down, put on my big boy pants, got myself a steady job. You ever think about going back? No. It wouldn't be the same without her. Besides, I, I like fixing cars. And amps, and guitars, keyboards. And pretty much any old instrument he can get his hands on. I have amassed quite a collection over the years. Really? I'd love to see it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, Fender Telly. That's beautiful. Thank you. D35 Martin? It is. Just like... Cash is to play. May I? Of course. That sounds good. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, okay. Like right, we're gonna make a little magic, girls.
back any time. Seriously, any time. Okay, okay, we get it. He's the son you never had. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again. Bye. See ya. So your family's great. <laughs> I know. They're the best. I think your dad might be my new best friend. I think that's the best birthday gift he could have gotten. Oh, I, that reminds me. Give this to your dad. From you, of course. Dustin, you don't have to do that. I can get it. No, seriously, you've done so much for me. It's the least I can do. Well, if I give it to him, it's going to be from both of us. Thank you. Um, so, uh, anyway, thanks again for tonight. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see ya. How are you, Anya? Really well. You remember this place? I mean, I think we came here every night when we were riding Horseshoe Lake. Really good times. They were. Oh, I took the liberty and ordered for you. you still cap soap fan, right? Oh, well, my tastes have changed a little. Okay, well, I don't know if you heard, but I have a new album coming out that I'm really stoked about. I've heard. Congratulations. Thank you. So what are you doing here? Well, I'm releasing my new single at the showcase, and I heard from Stu that you're doing the same thing. You did? We spoke earlier today, and look, don't be mad, but he told me everything. He's concerned. What do you mean by everything? Everything. The label wanting to drop you, the fresh single, the 11 a.m. time slot, the rookie producer. Okay. It's a messy situation that you've gotten yourself into, Despite. Well, Anya, I appreciate your concern. Stu and I, we've come up with an idea that we think will help set you up for success. So, we both have a lot coming up. You can benefit from a little publicity. And what do the people want to see more than the two of us united? Anya, I'm going to stop you right now. I don't like where this is going. No, it's silly. It's just for the cameras. You know, get a little bit of buzz. Your name's in the papers. Look, Bunny, I'm not doing this solely out of pity. It's for us. We could both benefit here. Excuse me? You're Dustin and Anya, uh, aren't you? Guilty as charged? <laughs> I'm so sorry to bother you, but... No. Oh, can I have an autograph? Of course. Sure, yeah. And what is your name? Jessica. Jessica. That is beautiful. Isn't it? Yes. Horseshoe Lake is my favorite song of all time. It's just so sweet of you to say. Take care now, all right? Have a good one. We had a really good thing going. Just tell me you'll think about it, okay? Fine. Gotta go. Okay, I'm loving that low C. I'm thinking I may want to add some lap steel later and definitely female harmonies, but let me just listen once more. Hey, Mia. That was amazing. I'm honestly blown away. Oh, you sound so surprised. Oh my gosh, no, it's just I, I've never actually listened to anything you've done before. You're brilliant. You both are. Thanks. Anyways, since you clearly don't need my help, I guess I'll go grab a bite. You guys need anything? No, 
I think we're good. We're just going to power through for the next 45 minutes. Sounds good. Okay, best part. Lyrics, please tell me you have some. As a matter of fact, I do. Hallelujah! And it all started with this. Is this from Horseshoe Lake? It felt too valuable to burn. I mean, it's just thoughts, you know, really. Um, obviously, I'll work it into something more coherent. You hate it? No. The opposite, actually. I think it's going to resonate with a lot of people. You think so? Yeah. It's about two people growing apart. What could be more relatable? I mean, that's what happened to me and my ex. What did happen? Um, we were together for six years. We moved to Tallahassee together. And I realized after some time that I couldn't pursue my career in music. So I broke up with him and I moved back here to work with Sloan. And it was the hardest decision I've ever made. For Anya and I, our paths started to veer in two different directions, both creatively and emotionally. And it was hard because the whole world wanted us to be together. But in my heart, I knew it had to end. Yeah, I guess we all have our tales of heartbreak. Yeah. But I think if you can turn it into something that resonates with other people, that's a good thing. I think you have your song. Our song. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Uh, Dustin, there's somebody here to see you. Honey, what are you doing here? I was in the neighborhood and thought I would take you to lunch and we could continue to discuss our little... You know, you two uh, haven't been introduced. Chloe, this is Anya. Hi. Anya, this is Chloe, my producer. Producer, right. I've heard so much about you. Really? So anyways, Dustin, lunch? Mm. If it's easier, we could stay here and... No. Uh, lunch, yeah, let's do it. Cool. Our usual spot in 20? Sure. Great. It was nice meeting you. So I'll uh, work on those lyrics. We'll reconvene here later? Yeah. Okay. There you go. You're so sweet. Dust. So, have you thought about my proposal? Why are you so intent on helping me? Because well, I'm worried about you, Dust Bunny. Oh, please don't call me that. Excuse me, but if we're gonna pretend to be a couple, we should start acting like one. At least in public. I can't do this. This isn't me. What other choice do you have? I don't know. How about I write a hit single, perform at the showcase, and solidify my record deal without the use of a cheap publicity stunt? Okay, funny. Mm. Why do you insist on making things so hard for yourself? You have an 11 a.m. slot on Sunday. I mean, you'd get a bigger audience if, if you performed at church. So look, if we do this, then I can almost guarantee you the slot before mine. Maybe we can even perform Horseshoe Lake together. You know, for old times' sake. One. Anya, I appreciate you trying to help, but it's a no. This kind of thing is exactly why we broke up in the first place. I can't go down that path again. All right. Well, change your mind. I know where to find me. So, how you doing? I'm fine, thanks. I mean, about the whole Dustin thing. What Dustin thing? I saw the look on your face when he left with Anya. I have no idea what you're talking about. See the way you guys look at each other. And that song, 
there's clearly something there. Mia, yeah, it's called creative chemistry. Okay, it's purely professional. I mean, yeah, he's super gorgeous and we've been hanging out a lot and it's been really fun and honestly, we have a really good time together and I've told him things I haven't told anybody else. <sighs> oh no. Yeah, you've got a crush. This is not what I wanted right now. Are you kidding? It's amazing. What could be more romantic? Two artists, a shared secret, a passion for music, and for each other. <laughs> it's like something out of a movie. You don't subscribe to Country Daily, do you? I do. So you just saw the picture of Dustin and Anya holding hands? Yeah. We don't know if it was a romantic lunch. Hannah, they're holding hands. Okay, maybe it's just two old friends catching up. Holding hands. Look, I know it doesn't look good, but you can't let this affect the work. I'm not letting it affect my work at all. So why are you not in the studio right now? Because I'm taking a personal day. Chloe. Mia's got me covered. Chloe, you've never taken a personal day in your life. You can't let this affect what you have going. You can't let some guy get in the way. This is your career we're talking about. You're right. I'm gonna go to the studio. Good. Oh my gosh. It's Cleo, right? Actually, it's Chloe. Hey, Anya, nice to see you. Uh, hi, I'm Hannah. I'm our sister. I own this place. Cute. Can I get a nice matcha latte with oat milk, no sweetener? Just a, a teensy splash of vanilla. It's a cheat day. Sure. So I hear you and Dustin are making some great progress. Yeah, it's going really well. Good. He is so talented once he works well through his blocks, you know? And clearly you've had a huge hand in helping him with that. So thank you. Hmm. Why are you thanking me? Well, now that he's finally finished working on himself, he can finally focus on us. One matcha latte, no sweetener. On the house. Thank you. That is so sweet of you. Have a good one, Cleo. See you around. I totally added sweetener. Hey, Mia said you weren't feeling too hot. You doing better? Yeah, I made a speedy recovery. Good, I'm glad you're here. I, I wanted your opinion on something. We thought about slowing down the verse, add some dramatic effect. Whatever you think. Uh, well, I don't know, that's why I'm asking you. I don't know, it's your song. It's our song. What is with you? You know what? I think I'm gonna go grab another coffee. What's with the two, dude? Don't be cute with me. Didn't realize I was being cute. Anya came into my sister's store today. What she want? A matcha latte. Don't be cute. What did she say? She thanked me for fixing you so that the two of you could get back together. I'm sorry, what? Which is interesting because we just spent all this time helping you get over her. Look, <laughs> we're not back together. Then what's this? Chloe, I can explain this. I just think it's one step forward, two steps back with you. You either want to do this or you don't. I do want to do this. If you just give me two seconds to explain to you, um, I... Mayday. What? Sloane's here. Oh. Sloane, I thought you were coming in a few days. No, we wrapped up early. I just had lunch with my friend Anya, and imagine my surprise when she told me that Dustin Miller was recording his new single in my studio. Dustin, buddy, would you mind just giving me a minute here with my team alone? Sloane, you have to believe me, this was all my idea. I was desperate for a last minute studio and I begged Chloe to fit me in. Oh, she is very accommodating, isn't she? Just to stick one minute, ladies. Can we? Thank you. Just one minute. You have any idea how stupid you made me look? Mia had nothing to do with this. It was entirely on me. That's not true. When I found out, I agreed to go along with it. Wait, you did? Yeah. Chloe's been working her butt off here for the past three years, only to be undervalued and underappreciated by you. Uncle Sloan, she has talent. If you would just listen to some of the stuff she's done, you'd realize that you've been overlooking her this entire time. 
You don't have to do this. No, I do. This whole thing has made me realize that I've only gotten to where I am because of my last name. My eyes have been open. I have to fight for what's fair. This is all very touching, but uh, you put the studio's reputation at risk and uh, there have to be consequences. I'm sorry, Chloe, but you are fired. What? No, you can't fire One her. more word and you're next, Mia. I cannot believe Mia, that. it's okay. Chloe, you have a really bright future here. I don't want you to throw it away just for me. Son, I'm really sorry. Thank you for everything. Hey, what happened in there? He fired me. Oh my gosh, Chloe, I'm so sorry. It's fine. So, what are we gonna do? We're not gonna do anything. You're gonna go in there and finish the song with Sloan. No. You have to. Chloe, no, I started this with you. I want to finish it with you. This could make or break your career. You can't afford to throw it all away for one single. It's fine, Dustin, really. Bad. I don't think it's there yet, Sloan. Well, it needs a few tweaks here or there, all right. I'm thinking a little more reverb in that chorus. It needs way more than a few tweaks. Look, I'm gonna level with you. <laughs> you know, good song is not enough. Your record company needs to hear a record and know you can deliver in the studio, too. Yeah, well, this isn't gonna do it for them. Well, then I have no idea what you're gonna do. That's okay. I do. And then I just left. So that's it? I guess so. Can't talk to Sloan. No, I'm done with Sloan. And I'm not even upset about the job. It's more that we didn't get to finish the song. And the stupid fight I had with Dustin. What fight? I saw pictures of him and Anya and I got mad. Okay. So you lost your job. You lost the studio. We're really on a roll here. There's nothing you can do about that, but didn't it feel great to take control of your life? Fight for what you wanted? Yeah. So? You come this far? Why stop now? You're right. Why would I stop now? Oh, Dustin. What are you doing here? I want to do this with you or not at all. But we don't have a studio. And this is way too important for you to do. You're outside. right. It is too important. That's why I need to finish it with the best producer. What about Anya? Chloe, whatever you think you saw with her wasn't real. We are nothing. It was just some cheap publicity stunt she used to boost her own record sales. We're over. Well, that's good. Yeah, it is. Stu. This better be an apology. Apology? Apology for what? I don't know, how about that whole Anya stunt for starters? <laughs> well, forget the apology, my friend, because you're gonna be thanking me in about 10 seconds. I'm listening. I was able to leverage the buzz from those Anya photos and got you a better slot at the showcase. That is, if you have a song. Oh, we've got a song. Good, that votes well because you go on at six. Six? Tonight. Uh-huh, and the execs are still expecting a copy of that track before you go on. So get a move on, and I'll see you at the show. We need to record this thing now. But we don't have a studio or a band. Sorry to interrupt, but I think I might have an idea. Dad, this is incredible. You even have baffles. Hey, you never know when you're gonna have to put together a makeshift recording studio to help save a famous country singer's career. Now, all you need is a band. Oh, well, you're hired. But that does remind me. What are we gonna do for the female vocals we wanted to put into the bridge? There you are. I've got the emergency brisket. Why does it look like I just walked into a crime scene?
Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a song. And well, we can just make it if we leave now. Uh, not so fast. This is only a temp mix. It's not nearly good enough for the record company. It has to blow them away. Well, I guess you're gonna have to finish mixing on the road. Uh, Hannah, see if you can dig up some fancy duds for everyone while I load it. the gear. Just like the good old days. So, I've been thinking, this all goes according to plan. I'm gonna have a whole album to write. Are you thinking of renting out Dad's garage? <laughs> Just warning you, this was probably a first time freebie, and he'll try and gouge you moving forward. <laughs> I'm being serious. You make a great team. What do you say? I say, let's see how people respond to the single before we get ahead of ourselves. Giddy up, slow folks. You got this. Okay. See you in there. Yeah. How's it coming along? Slowly. Connection's terrible. You guys going without me. Seriously, I need to get this to the label before you go on. Well, this is our song. You should be there to hear it. I wouldn't miss it. Okay, so we'll start with the new song. I'll introduce it and you guys come out and join me, yeah? You bet. Okay. <laughs> Are you all right, Dad? Yeah. Just nice to be back. <laughs> oh, good. I made it in time. You're going to be great. Stu, did you run here? Yeah. Debbie has the car. I couldn't miss this. You're still my number one client. And number one friend. Bring it in, friend. <laughs> oh, wow, you're sweaty. Overactive sweat glands. Hey, Dustin. It's time. Go get him, Tiger. Yeah, buddy. I love you. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Justin Miller. Thank you. Now, thank you all so much for coming out tonight. We're going to start off with a brand new tune. We literally finished writing this thing a few hours ago. This whole thing for me has been about second chances, getting back to basics, making music in a garage with some good people. So, you're all here for the world premiere of Better Days Ahead. Thank you. How's it going? Never better. Did you get the next time? Done and delivered. How are you holding up? Chloe, I don't know if I can do this. Hey, you are always telling me to take chances and fight for what I deserve. It's your turn. You got this. Okay. Now please join me in welcoming to the stage two very special guests, Hannah and Chuck Brandon. Do or die. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Slow down, honey, and by your side. Sometimes you get it wrong before you get it right. It's just another lesson in life. It's just another reason to try. Gone. We only need to hold each other and let them go 
times I tried being someone else, somebody I don't like, just another lesson in life. Just gotta be yourself to survive. You only get to heaven when you're driving on the high road. Keep behind the no doors, open up the closed doors. Always be the somebody you know you can rely on when they're all gone. We only need to hold each other. Folks like that little number, huh? <laughs> Thank you. And Hannah gave him the perfect time and Mr. Hey. Hey. Was that? Quincy Morgan, yeah, he's performing at the showcase tomorrow. He wants me to produce his next album. <laughs> Holy, that's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. So it looks like we've got a hit on our hands. Yep which means you get to record your next album. It does. I couldn't have done this without you. I know. The song was in you the whole time. I just got it out. Well, then first order of business, Chloe, would you be my producer? That is, if you can fit it into your busy schedule. It would be my honor. What's the second order of business? It's something I've been hoping to do for a while. Chụp ảnh màn 
hình gửi cho nó bạn mày gửi cho tao ừ, bạn mày gửi cho tao đây này nên mày đừng có nói thêm điều gì với tao nữa tao không muốn nghe thế nhưng mà nó gửi link cho con phương là con phương hỏi cơ mà mẹ có khác gì tao bảo là bây giờ có đứa nào hỏi tao tốt không tao bảo đưa link của con linh đưa link của con linh bảo là đây bạn tao đây mày hỏi xem có tốt không gặp linh thì tắt điện luôn Mày nói xong mà chị buồn đi vệ sinh quá về mình sẽ bày trang ra cái bàn nha đi nha cô đi dọn đây sang nhà lúc đôi lỗi im lỗi mà xem đâu có đây là cái này giống mấy không rồi thì mình vừa cùng cả nhà tô xong bức tranh chữ tháng tư như này cảm ơn cả nhà đã theo dõi video tô tranh của mình xin chào và hẹn gặp lại